Uh, we had a question here. I'm a little, okay, this is a tough one for me, okay? It's Jason, okay? Hey, coach, what do you think about training like David Goggins, where the main focus is pushing the mental limits and developing mental resilience and self-esteem rather than physical health or longevity benefits? Uh, benefits. I found somewhat extreme endurance training initially motivated by David's book, Help Me With My Depression. What are your thoughts? Listen, if you're having issues with depression, please, and I'm, and I'm begging you, uh, I would like you to consult mental health professionals rather than me. Uh, I don't feel comfortable. Here's what I can do for you. Uh, I had a long walk not long ago here, all the way to Richmond uh, with a friend who is struggling with some issues. I can provide no answers, but I can listen to you. Uh, Jason, I hope you have someone in your life who you can listen to, someone you can talk to. Um, it would mean a lot to me, okay? Uh, interesting, as I'm answering this question, I have one of my students come to me who, when we sat and talked for a little while because of my background, uh, he felt comfortable talking about his background. And this student um, kind of poo-pooed what you just, the question you asked. And because this person has seen some really bad things uh, in, in, in a different country's military, but still saw some bad things and uh, doesn't need to see any more of it. Uh, very candid about needing some help, very candid about making bad choices, um, trying to uh, self-medicate. So. Uh, do I disagree with this? No, I think there's real value in sometimes uh, in in resilience, uh, in actually training resilience. I have a workshop called Bounce, and I wasn't candid when I talked about when I first gave the workshop count called Bounce. You know, I I, I I stuck with the only the I stuck with trying to with just my brother Phil's death where literally in this room I found out about it four years ago. And then of course having to, to deal with his funeral and then my daughter's wedding the next week. There was more bad going on in my life. My bounce workshop is resilience. And I I always joke and about chumba wumba. I get knocked down but I get back up again. I always say the poet chumba wumba. The thing is, resilience is getting knocked down and the skill set to get back up. I like Nassim Taleb's phrase, anti-fragile, even though it got completely overused in my industry. Um, it's the idea that struggles make you better. I know that's true, but I gotta, I gotta beg you to make sure you do the other stuff too. Try to, try to go to sleep as appropriate, you know, within two hours of sundown, you know, don't self-medicate. When, try to teach yourself to wake up at the same time every day. Don't hit the snooze button. Drink a lot of water, take a lot of protein, eat a lot of vegetables, go for walks, find people you can talk to. Uh, you know, lift weights, push, pull, hinge, squat, loaded, carry. Um, Talk to somebody. If you if you have a dog, dogs are wonderful. Talk to your dog. If you don't have a dog, talk to a tree. Talk it out. Um, caring is sharing, or sharing is caring. Whatever it is. Um, try not try not to be try not to be an island. Uh, reach out, get help. Um, so, do I agree with what I, what you wrote about uh, uh, David's work? I agree in the idea that doing things, long distance running, pulling up heavy weights, you know, having challenges builds up your resilience. But that's only part of the whole thing. I had it explained to me the other day that I don't want you to miss David Goggins' concept about the cookie jar. You can't just take cookies out, my friend. You got to put some cookies back in. I'm getting worried you're just taking the cookies out. Make sure you add cookies back to the jar. Get your sleep, eat your food, that kind of thing. Uh, I hope that helped. I, I 
and and let's and blessings to you and hang in there thank you